Hello everybody. How are you doing today? Oh, this is July the 3rd, so tomorrow is the 4th. So I hope you guys have a some fun things planned, picnics and other things to celebrate our country. Um not enough people celebrating our country these days, unfortunately. But we still should, especially as Christians, we need to be grateful that God has placed us in such a, a country that we are free to read our Bibles. Even though there's more and more restrictions free and put on us, we are still free at this point in time. And so we need to uh, keep praying for this country, um, praying for Christians in other countries who do not have the freedoms we have, especially. That is a very dire, dire thing. Um, if you guys hear something weird in the background, I'm not quite sure what it is. I think I have a fan on that's going kind of funky. <laughs> I'm not sure. Of course, I'm kind of funky today, not going to lie. Not on my game today. I have not been feeling well the past couple of days. It's been a stressful kind of weekend. My husband had a, uh, an appointment at OHSU with his uh, heart spe specialist and everything. And so it's just been kind of a... A wild stressful ride this week but I'm all good here I am and my cat's trying to knock something over oh my gosh the places she gets into is just unreal just every little thing she can find to check out she goes for it okay anyway what I have planned today is um, had a request that uh, someone wanted to have me to do a little bit more of an in-depth look at my planners that I use for different things she says she has a planner that she's using and she's got everything in it and of course it's making you know it very thick and hard to use and she wanted to see how I um, did my different ones I have one two three four five, seven all together that I use but um, two of them were just small ones that I use to uh, take with me and you know just quickly if I need to jot something down then I can transfer it into my larger planners um, so the main ones I use are right here so I'm going to show you those first and I'm sure if you guys have watched my channel you've definitely seen some of them um, because I, I use them quite a lot this first one that's my personal size Kiki K Kiki K is a beautiful planner they're real leather um, except on the interior, the inside is cloth, but all the exterior is real leather. So it's really, really nice planners. I love them so much. They get dirty easier than others because of the fact they're leather. So you have to keep that in mind. But they're still beautiful and definitely worth having. I have one that's supposed to be getting here in the next few days that I ordered. Well, actually won a, a bid on um, eBay for it's one I have actually been looking for that Kiki K does not even make anymore. It's a beautiful lavender one with gold polka dots on it. I love, love, love lavender and lilac colors so, so, so much. So this one is gorgeous and it's taken the seller quite some time to get it to me, but she says she promised it's on its way. So got my fingers crossing because when I get that, I'm going to transfer some of my stuff out of one of these other planners. I think I will probably make it my primary uh, appointment planners what I think I want to do and of course the truth is and I'm sure I'm not gonna say with all planner girls but with a lot of us planner girls we may not actually need all of these planners because um, you know our lives just aren't that exciting but I will tell you the reason I started keeping one um, number one I'm like oh my gosh when I found all these beautiful ones that people were using for their scripture writing and stuff I just fell in love and then number two I started having between my husband and I so many doctor's appointments because of our health issues it, it really helps it just made sense because I can write things down uh, from our medications and all that kind of stuff to really try and keep track considering both of us are functioning on maybe a quarter of our brains these days <laughs> so I mean it's like oh my gosh when did I lose all of my faculties well apparently they've been slowly slowly disappearing for a few years now and it's just starting to become noticeable to me <laughs> so anyway planners do help I, I put stuff in my phone I do so that I can set alarms for things but if, as long as I have it in a planner and I'm going to it every day, it just keeps it right there in the forefront and I'm not as likely to forget it. So that helps me tremendously. So this little one, like I said, this is a personal size. 
and I think she's so pretty. She's so pretty. These are my LOL girls. I absolutely love LOL. It's my favorite collection of, of planner inserts and Hobby Lobby's the one that sells them. Um, Miss Cherie McGinnis, this is her favorite too. She loves them as well. They're just stinking cute. I just love them. And um, Hobby Lobby's inserts aren't near as expensive as some others, so it's, they're really a good price and they're, they're very, very pretty. This is just a little folder that I can put things in if I'm out and I need to put something in there just stuff <laughs> this I made I love these little bookmarks too now these are also from Hobby Lobby they're the watercolor girls so a little bit different but still still cute and I just put in things to make notes with if I need to I make all kinds of dividers for myself if you guys have watched me at all you know that about me I love making dividers but these I love these and I buy those make that one and then sometimes I will use, I will put stuff like this in uh, that I print off um, Etsy and off Pinterest and things. So if I need something different or et extra, and I, I get kind of bored, so I like, you know, different things. Of course, I have uh, complete packets of planner inserts. Uh, most of mine, I really love Carpe Diem. Michael's has really good prices on theirs. Um, so I have Buku's. That I have just, I literally have a chest of drawers over here behind me. That two of the drawers are completely filled with planner things. Everything from uh, some of the Carpe Diem planners that I purchased while they were on sale to inserts. I mean, it's all just planners. And this whole room that I'm in right now is a hot mess because it's got all my Bibles and my Bible study stuff and just tons and tons of stuff in here. And I am so grateful that I have this little room to put this in because if I did not, it would literally be exploding all over my house. So I'm obsessive about stuff like this. Bibles, planners, handbags, my three main obsessions in the whole wide world. Plus I love cars and I've got to let that obsession kind of die out because, you know, I'm not working anymore. So we're down to have an income. So I can't just go and buy a new car or trade in mine and, and get a new one every two years, which I did for the last 10 yeah I'm that person crazy okay so anyway back to the planners my the more my lol but first coffee I'm sorry first coffee and Jesus but got to get that cup of coffee first otherwise the brain that like I said is only functioning about a quarter of its capacity really doesn't work at all and of course Carpe Diem just has beautiful inserts, but I've talked about this before as far as inserts go. Um, I like the design of Carpe Diem's bed better and I like the quality of the paper better, but Michael's, whose planners I do not like. I do not like their three ring um, binder planners. They're just very cheaply made. They have very, very nice um, of the ring bound planners that kind of look like the Erin Condren. They're every, to me, they're every bit as nice as the Erin Condren and for a fraction of the price. So they have very nice those I have a couple of those that I bought just like when they were 50% off and I've just got them stashed away because they're non-dated so you can use them whenever you want to so that is an awesome thing and so I've got those stashed away but their ring bound planners are like I've said before they're very just inferior to all the other binders that are out there but their inserts are really really nice and the way they use their inserts is like their see with Carpe Diem and most of the others you'll have the June and that on one side and you'll have the actual first page of the calendar on the other which means when you're done with it you have to throw it away um, the way Michaels does is they just have a folder with that and then they have the you know actual month and weekly inserts to the you know separate so that way you can actually use the dividers over again which that's a nice that's a plus this I just make I make a lot of these myself for the little flip through bookmarks but and that one I ordered that's another from the LOL collection and isn't it pretty so we're into July so I'll be taking all this out today so anyway this is just my regular you know I'll use a little monthly planner I actually made two now this is how because I'm weird I 
when I first got this back in January, I went through and I went uh, and went ahead and did all the months in advance. And then I went back and decided I didn't like some of them. So I got some of my Kiki K inserts, which I also have tons that I have printed out from Etsy and from Pinterest. So, but these are the ones that come with the actual Kiki K planners and they're not that great. They're very flimsy and thin, but I wanted to do a different interior because I just kind of threw that together and it just kind of doesn't look you know like really really fantastic or anything so i just made that one a little bit neater that's just ocd that's all that is not necessary it's just ocd and i'm not ocd about a whole lot of stuff i really am not i don't have enough energy to be that ocd about things but that one i just didn't like and of course you got your weeklies which i haven't planned out yet so i need to get on that that's one of my pretty little die cuts that i um printed out um uh, off of Pinterest and then chopped her out. I've got a more, lot more of those two I'm going to use down the road. So anyway, this is just one that sometimes I can just throw in my handbag or just carry real easily because it is smaller. And so I'll just put, you know, appointments and, you know, just anything I need to just jot down that I don't forget in, in this one. So that is what that one's for. Then we get to the bigger ones here. This is also a Kiki K, so it's real leather. It's getting a little bit dirty, but I still love it very, very, very much. This is my Bible scripture writing journal. It's what this one is. This I don't keep, um, see, all kinds of stuff stuck in there. I don't keep as much of a calendar. I do have a calendar just so I can keep uh, up with the dates, but I don't use it like, you know, you would. A regular calendar I just mainly I put stuff in here that I think is pretty that I've made and like this is a um I printed all this out off of Pinterest too so it was actually free but this is for a prayer journal just so you can make do prayers I have little things in here for sermon notes devotionals um, study notes all that kind of stuff. I do some of the actual scripture writing in here and then some of it I do in, in other things. This topical study stuff, this came out from Michael's out of one of their little books they have. And I, like I said, I write all kinds of things I need to remember. Do a little bit of scripture writing here. Some of these I just made. Some of them I just put on the printer and copy them out. This is from Kiki K herself, inserts. Just a little bell on there that I cut out and put in there. One of my dividers that I made. Another one that I made. Another one that I made. Some of the scripture writing references I use. All of these come from Pinterest. I'm on two different scripture writing groups. One, Cherise and Sisters in Christ. And the other scripture uh, writing through the year. And you know, a lot of times I use their scripture guides, but then a lot of times I do my own stuff. Right now, I'm last month I wrote through Colossians, and so this month I'm writing through Ephesians. This is a little faith planner insert that my friend um, Nikki Drake from Crazy Simple Truth did, and I downloaded off her site. It's really, really cute stuff. Then I have all of this kind of stuff that I find. More stuff from Michaels. If I want to put stickers or something in these, folders are, are really good. They really make a you know things kind of simple and so this is july i've already pulled out the june stuff but yeah all this is is just for my scripture writing i will print out the the scripture uh, pages i'm using sometimes i laminate them sometimes i don't but i cut them down a size and then i just put them in here then i flip right to it every morning see what i need to write and then i either write it in here or um i've got a couple of other notebooks that i use for scripture writing so that is Miss Kiki K. This is the main uh, big girl planner. This is the big one. This is Carpe Diem. This one is the one I think I'm going to switch out of when I get the new Kiki K in and, and uh, put all of my main stuff in that. Oops, look what I did. <laughs> I just flew my bow off. So anyway, this is like basically the big girl version of this one. Make sure you can see in the camera. So this is the one I just, I've got a dashboard right there in front. Oh, most of the inserts are Carpe Diem. A lot of them are stuff that I've made myself and pulled out. 
I find all kinds of images um, off Pinterest, especially that I love, like stuff like this. And then I will just laminate, cut it, print it out, laminate it, and make dividers out of it because I love that kind of stuff. And it's so pretty. Have special note paper in there. I want to make any notes. My uh, work pants are my jeans. Yeah. Actually, it should, I should have sweatpants on there because that's my work pants, really. But, you know, I thought that was cute. But you won't see me in these anymore. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to break my neck anytime soon. So sad, but it's true. And you won't see me eating donuts as much anymore as what I used to. It's just like, you know, trying to, trying to have, develop a more healthy lifestyle. That is for June, so that will be coming out today. Another one of my dividers that I made. I try to put different images on each side, but I just love them. Another thing, I've got a whole, I purchased these off Etsy and it's, oh, I can't remember the store it was, but anyway, it's an entire planner. It's got all kinds of things, so I need to print out more of those. Weekly to-do list, I print out tons of these just because I like different ones. This I messed up, so I just, I used it anyway because I don't like to waste. But that is one of my weekly planners um, for June. I love this. Isn't that pretty? Used all my pinks. I love the pinks and the greens. They're my favorite. I didn't print them on both sides. I'm, one day I'm going to have one of them fancy smancy printers that will do two-sided printing for me and everything. The fanciest thing that the one I have now does is it has Wi-Fi on it, which is awesome. But it was only $29 at Walmart. It's an HP, so it's very, you know, very, very simple. So this was second week in June. We had a vacation, so I actually didn't put anything down like I had planned on doing, but we did. This was the vacation week. Can you tell? Now, I do not look like this, ladies, in case you're wondering. Melissa does not look like that. That might have been Melissa when she was 21, but it's not the 52-year-old Melissa, so, you know. Oh. Tis what it tis. And see, this is one of my purple layouts. I love purple, too. I thought that was really pretty. Really, really pretty. And so that was the end of June. And then I also have things, different kinds of uh, day planners. Another one of my... I printed this off uh, Pinterest as well. And here's July. So this is what we'll be planning out of this month. So I don't think I should have a week planned in here, but I don't know if I do or not. I, so like I said, yes, yes, I do. I did plan a week already. So this will be the first week. Of course, we're on the third. I have Bible study tonight, July the 4th, which I plan on doing nothing. I might uh, clean my fish tank, but that's probably about it. My little dog, Oakley, she needs a bath too, so maybe that too. And so I already planned out for that week and for that week. And I will probably go in and add more stuff as it comes. But, you know, I like to, sometimes I like to get a, a leg up on it. But what I find I usually do is I plan out too much because I enjoy it so much. And then I end up with, okay, what am I going to do now? Got that one written out but not planned out. So there is another one of my pretty dividers. I love that those colors I love that color blue too I would love to have a second wedding you know for one of our anniversaries I would just love to do that I'd like to you know plan not a huge wedding just something simple but I'd love to get a pretty new wedding dress you know and a cake and I just love all that stuff you know my husband's like do you want to do it because you love me or because you love that and I'm like hmm a little of both I guess <laughs> Alright, this is the August layout for that month. Of course, I don't have any of the weeks, but see, I put some new, some different weekly inserts, monthly inserts in, and I just play. I just have fun. Anything that, you know, keeps my mind engaged, I enjoy. And I love all, all of my, you know, that's, all, that's September. I had this washi that I was just keep trying to use stuff because I love it. I just think it's so pretty. It's just hard to find stuff to use it for. Look at her wedding dress. Yeah, see, I love stuff like that. Ooh, so pretty. 
this was actually done I, I'm pretty sure it was done with acrylics it's obviously it's been drawn first and then just painted in with acrylic paint and that's very very pretty very very pretty so anyway those are what I use these two for you know some of my pretty stuff but enjoy I just enjoy it I just love that and it doesn't have to all be uniform like I said I love so much different stuff it would be impossible for me to decide ooh, which do I want to use so I just use it all and then the next one I have is a very important one as well this would be um, my health binder so this is where I keep all of our information my husband's and hours our doctors doctors appointments testing that's going to be done for prescriptions that we take which unfortunately for both of us way too many um so that is what then this is a carpe diem which is probably my favorite one of theirs it's so pretty i love the the color but this is carpe diem and i made those inserts i think most of these inserts i did make myself i have dr bills in here that hopefully we will get paid someday this is a pain tracker that my friend nikki drake sent me for my fibromyalgia so that is good i also use it for my uh, back pain that i have i have chronic back pain yay me and then just notes that so i take this with me when we go to doctor's appointment so that i can make any notes that i need to to make because if i for both of us if i don't go in if i don't keep notes i will totally lose it so I don't do as far as calendar stuff a lot in this this is mainly for record keeping so I still put our doctor's appointments in my regular planner but this is mainly just for record keeping um, everything from our you know ailments to our, the bills that need to get paid and and when we're able to pay stuff which let me tell you ladies that's getting harder and harder because it's ridiculous what health care costs these days when i worked at the hospital i worked at a hospital before i had to quit because of my um um health but we had amazing insurance i pretty much never saw a bill and if i did see a bill it was very very small they even paid our premiums for us so i was used to that i was used to being able to get you know everything covered and they even um let me take 70 percent off even though my husband was on a different insurance which is what i'm on with him now and it's just horrible um they still because he was married to me and i was employee we could get 70 percent off all of his procedures as well after the insurance covered them yeah so now we're just bogged down in thousands and thousands of dollars worth of medical bills and it's just it's crazy it's one of those things where you're like you know what jesus you know what i got you know what i need i'm trusting you to help me all right so this is the last planner that i'm actually going to show you this is i haven't had this one long it's a webster's pages i wanted one so i bought this one used because i wanted to check out the quality of it um beforehand and i really like it i really love it and they have some beautiful beautiful uh, designs too um aside from this one okay there's webster's pages which they say this is split leather so it should it's supposed to actually have some leather in it and i it really feels like it does so i'm inclined to believe it it's got a different texture than my kiki k's but it also has a different texture from the carpe diems so this definitely feels um substantial and it's just beautiful i love it um aside from these three i also recommend agenda 52 from hobby lobby theirs are beautiful and they're very well made as well now if you want to get up into some high dollar planners the really nice stuff look for Gilio and vanderspeck amazing but we're talking hundreds of dollars if you want one of those ladies but you can custom design them so if you've got the money to do it and you will enjoy it i say go for it if i had the money i'd be on it believe me all right so this one I actually use as my social media planner. This is where I write down my vlogging ideas, um, vlogging requests that I get from people, like this was a request. Um, my giveaway, because I'm having a giveaway at 500 subscribers, I'm up to 378, I think. So once I hit the 500, I've got a beautiful planner with some accessories that I'm giving away to someone. Uh, the people that request to be in that, I just, 
write them down and then when that day comes I hit the 500 I'm going to put them all in little pieces of paper and and do a drawing and, and see who wins um, I've mentioned it before though I would not be able to send um, the planner itself overseas because that would just cost too much money and with me not working ladies that's just a little bit on my budget but if you are from another you know outside Ooh, I got that dirty. If you are outside the United States, I do have some things that I can send you if I draw your name. Uh, I will make you some of these custom made little dividers and things like that that I can just basically send, you know, like like a letter or a card that won't be much more expensive than that. I am going to do that for you because I don't want you guys to be left out either. I want you all to be no. I used it. I actually took this one when I went on vacation and did my scripture writing in it while I was on vacation. So that's what all of that is. Uh, and then you know I have my pretty little dividers that I make. I have a pre-made, um, pre-made calendars that I do on this one because I don't plan in it, but I do want to be able to look and see what day it is. Just some little note-taking stuff more of folders these I actually think I got them I don't know if I got these I think I got them off Etsy is where I got them that's where I get most stuff except for I have found a lot of really nice things on uh, Pinterest that you can actually print out for free which is I love free for free and see there's where I do my my uh, blog stuff and this is where I keep track of how many subscribers I have. And this is how many I have entered right now into the contest. So, yeah, this one is just strictly for social media stuff. And the only social social media I really do is, um, you know, I have a, um, what is it? I have, I have a, a Twitter, but you know what? I've never really used it. I don't tweet a whole lot. Not into the tweeting that much. Um, of course, Facebook I do have, and I've been trying to actually use it less, uh, just merely to keep in touch with my family and to, you know, uh, do my scripture writing on the uh, pages that I am on. I like that, but I, I don't, I'm just so tired of getting into all the other mess. I tell you what, if you just watch the news and everything else 24-7, it's going to mess up your brain. We are, you know, gone are the days of Walter Conkright, who was, you know, he just simply reported the news. That's the way it is. <laughs> you know, not that's what I think or that's how I feel or I'm going to say what I want to say, if, you know, even if it's not true. Yeah. So those days are gone. So I, you know, news is no longer news. News is as much fabrication these days, I think, as the National Enquirer is. So <sighs> who wants to listen to, to that? I don't. I try to focus more in on positive things. That doesn't mean we don't have to be informed. We do need to be informed, you know, about what's going on and so we can, you know, make wise choices. That's a huge thing. We need to make wise choices when it comes to the people that we elect in the office and we have to vote um, as close as Christians. We have an obligation. We need to vote as cr close to the Bible and biblical morality as possible. Um, so that's just that's just how I feel like we need to do to do anything else I you know you can't everyone says scream separation of church and state well you know no <laughs> no the separation of church and state was written into the Constitution because they wanted to keep the state out of the church's bi business not vice versa this country was founded a Christian country yes we are uh, a a country of people of a different melting pots and backgrounds and everything and that's wonderful but you know if we get away from our roots which we, sadly we are and we start uh, leaving God out of schools and out of lawmaking and out of just we're in trouble and that's why we're in trouble because we've done that so but as a Christian you can make a difference you make a difference with your vote you make a difference with your witness um, just love people the way Jesus loves people. Let him love people through you. And then wherever you can make a difference, make a difference. People's hearts are just... And I don't think that necessarily people's hearts are completely 
evil is that people's hearts are deceived. They don't have a lot of understanding of what truth is. Um, and that comes from not having an understanding of who God is. So, it's pretty simple. But anyway, ladies, I'll show you this one other just in case you haven't seen this one before. This is where I do the bulk of my scripture writing. She's a big, massive mondo. It's a Happy Notes planner, and I added in some really large um, rings to it so that I could fit a whole lot in there. And I did. And I'll do a whole lot of writing in this girl. I think she's so pretty. I just love the colors. I love flowers, and I love the purples and the pinks. So, that's about it. When I get the Kiki K, I am going to do a video and show you my pretty Kiki K. I can't wait. I'm hoping it's in good condition uh, from the pictures that I saw of it. It was. It is used because they're very expensive new. Um, so, it is definitely used. I got it for a really, really, really good price. And so, I'm just hoping that it comes in as good you know good condition and i will certainly show that to you when we get it all right ladies have a magnificent fourth of july if i don't see you before then um be safe but have fun eat a lot of good food that's my favorite all right thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit that like button and if you'll hit that notification button, you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And I do a lot of different kinds of content, but mainly it's planners, Bibles. And um, I still keep saying I'm going to do a what's in my handbag, but I haven't got around to it yet. But eventually I will, I promise. But if you have any suggestions for me, put them in the um, comments. I tell people I always keep it nice. I don't, I don't deal with ugly. So we're sisters. So let's keep it nice. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you, and have a wonderful 4th of July. Bye-bye.